Hi, my name is Jenna Collins and I'm a naturalist with the East Bay Regional Park District. And today we're going to talk about pipevine swallowtail butterflies. Pipevine swallowtail butterflies are an insect, and like all insects, they have three body parts, six legs, two antennae, and a set of compound eyes. Butterflies have four wings, two forewings and two hindwings that attach to their middle body part called a thorax. It's a common myth that butterflies and moths have a powder on their wings. In fact, what that powder we see is, is actually scales. Both butterflies and moths belong to the order Lepidoptera, which is Greek for scale wing. If you look at a butterfly's wings under a microscope, you can actually see these tiny shingle-like scales overlapping each other. Pipevine swallowtail butterflies are known for their dark blue, shimmery wings and body. But why the name pipevine? This naming has to do with their host plant. And a host plant is a plant that female butterflies need for laying their eggs on. They do this because once hatched, their young called caterpillars will only eat certain species of plants and they need to eat it right away. For pipevine swallowtail caterpillars, that means they only want to eat the leaves and stems of a plant called pipevine. This plant is not only delicious to the caterpillar, but is also a great way to gain protection. Pipevines have a toxin, dangerous and gross tasting to many predators called aristolochic acid. Eating this toxin doesn't harm the caterpillar, and it remains in its body, making it toxic to whatever tries to eat it. Around the Bay Area, there is a native pipevine called Dutchman's pipevine, or California pipevine. It is a vine that can be found in various environments such as redwood forests and oak woodlands. The vine gets its name from the shape of its blossom. If you look closely, the blossom is a similar shape to that of a smoking pipe. For pipevine swallowtail butterflies, life starts as an egg. A female pipevine swallowtail will lay many small orangish eggs on the stems and leaves of a pipevine. Shortly after, a very tiny caterpillar will hatch, and its first meal will be its own eggshell, an easy and nutritious snack, before moving on to its favorite food, the pipevine. At this stage, the caterpillar is a truly hungry one. The whole job is to eat and grow and eventually go from a teeny tiny caterpillar to one that is about the size of your pinky finger. That's two whole inches. You can recognize a pipevine caterpillar by their dark bodies and reddish spikes. Once the caterpillar has gotten to its full size, it is now ready to find a safe and secure place to enter the pupil stage. Here the caterpillar will make a silk girdle and spin a silk button, both of which will help anchor the caterpillar securely while it goes into its next stage. The caterpillar then begins to molt its exoskeleton one final time to reveal a greenish or brownish chrysalis beneath. Here the caterpillar will change and soon an adult pipevine swallowtail butterfly will emerge. Once free of the chrysalis, it will unfurl and dry its wings and eventually fly off in search of nectar and continue the life cycle again. Two places you can go and see pipevine swallowtail butterflies is at the Tilden Nature Area and the Regional Parks Botanic Garden, both located in Berkeley, California. Be sure to check their hours before you go. But do you know, you don't have to go anywhere to see them. By planting native plants such as the California pipevine, California buckeye, wild radish, and yerba santa, you can attract pipevine swallowtails to your garden to watch and enjoy year after year.